Hello again, Dr. McFloth with more Me Rockman Purecast 2. We have some very much liked weapon energy recovery here. And we also have a challenge I am not particularly fond of. What just happened? Hang on. I just, I shot like five times and it did not shoot the projectile, but it took my energy. Uh, no, I'm not taking that. Alright. Now, with the game not cheating... Ah. Okay. That tiny little bit of weapon energy is not enough to make it worth it. Alright, we got the big riding cats. And more weapon energy. I will take that. Wait, you know what? I thought it was a little bit higher here, but... I also have more snakes per shot. Or more snakes per energy unit. Oh boy. That E-Tank even gettable? Yeah, I can go over that far, but uh, actually getting it is going to be a, kind of a thing. Like so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't go through that. No, wh why? Oh, the graphics do not match the hitboxes. That's not good. Uh, what? How? Like that way. That way. I, it can only be like that, but it has to be. Oh my. That's not possible. That's not possible. Okay. We're going to do that because... Because I just had to do a whole lot of... There's no way I'm getting through that. Okay. I definitely have to spade on this one because... It could glitch out. Okay, it did not glitch out, thanks. You know what? Why do I even bother? This guy has like, has no iframes. <coughs> it's easy enough without trying to find a weakness.
Alright. Hey, we've got boss music. It's gonna be constantly in our ears. We're gonna love it. Okay. Alright, all my weapons are pretty adequate levels of ammunition. I don't like that. Even a little bit. Okay, well, I have to... I have to take a hit for that. I'm very much not fond of this. Wouldn't mind having that, just in case it comes in handy for one of the bosses. Okay. One doesn't need anything. That one, I just have to take the hit. And now we have our boss refights. And I have forgotten the weaknesses, if I even had them. So I'm going to do a quick uh, run around to find them, and I'll be right back. All right, I figured out the weaknesses. Let's see if we can get at least one of these guys out, down without dying. Start with our top man wannabe. He doesn't like our spark shock wannabe. Which doesn't like firing out for some reason. But we managed to get it that time. Alright. Next up, we'll try our uh, fake Spark Man, which doesn't like our fake snake. And because of the way he works, he's not actually terribly difficult. Next up, our full hard man. Doesn't really have a weakness. By process of elimination, he's really weak to uh, Shadow Blade, but he's not really weak to it. But the thing that does the most damage to him is his own weapon, but I want to save that. Alright. Next up, we're going to go to uh, Fake Snake Man. He doesn't like seeds. And nearly die as a result. Then we're gonna go to the guy who gave us that weapon. And this one's gonna be this one's I'm gonna be a little bit interesting. He's actually weak to Gemini laser, but he's equally weak to his own weapon. His own weapon has a lot more ammo and is a lot easier to use. So yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Next up, our fake Magnet Man is ridiculously hard. But we have to use uh, Top Spin against him. Because nothing else will get a, do the trick.
All right. Our last two selections are a little bit harder to deal with. Relay Man doesn't like Hard Knuckle. Hard Knuckle is kind of a slow weapon. And his attacks are kind of fast. We got a little bit on the lucky side there. Finally, it's Shadow Man. I want to get to the middle as soon as possible. And still fail. All right, let's try that again. Not the cleanest run, but <laughs> yeah, I survived this time. I really don't know what I'm going to need, so make sure I've got decent supplies of everything, and we'll go on. And be unable to walk in. Okay. Let's see what we got coming up here. Honestly, I can really just bust it. I can really just bust it this if I have to, but... Okay. I might have to, actually. So nothing seems to be working. Okay, well... I have to start this one over, or I have to start this one over? Since I know what I'm doing now, I'll just start from scratch here. Seems like the only weapon that works in that form is uh, the Buster. Okay. Well, since I know the Buster works on this version, oh, uh, that. And since I know this works on this form, hey, I'll take it. Wily turned into a little girl somehow. <laughs> but of course, there's a fake Wily, so maybe we have to find the little girl after all. Hey, it's a big P. I wonder what that might stand for. I've got nothing good from that, but... Alright. 
Time for the final battle. Oh. Got a little girl head. Um, that doesn't work. Uh, what are my options? That does not work. Got nowhere to stand. They want me to rush jet again? No. that off enough. That's not even... There's no way that's even possible, by the way. Okay. Okay, so form one, I need to bouncy bounce the lasers. I wasn't even sure I could actually hit that spot, so that's why I didn't try that initially. Has to be up high enough. Ah! Which I'm not being up high enough. Just why I wasn't trying that initially. Okay, and now is it this? Ow. Well, that works, so I'm gonna do it. And little girl becomes Dr. Wily once again. What, you could do all the other sprite replacements, but you couldn't do that? Or do you just think Dr. Wily likes dressing up like little girls? <laughs> He's creepy. He could. I don't know. Okay. And it's over. We've finished Rockman Purecast 2. We've survived all the weird Mimi sprite recreations. So that game was uh, up and down. I think it was less raw difficulty than the first one, uh, but it still had some rough points with its level design. Um, and it still had some challenges with bosses in certain ways. I wouldn't call it a bad game. I think I liked it a little bit better than the previous one. Had a little bit more character to it. It also had, but it also had its share of, uh, uh, rough patches, let's call them. But, you know, that's, I can't say that that particularly surprised me overall. After all, it is a, a Mega Man ROM hack. And there aren't too many that I would call flawless. 
but uh, yeah, we had a uh, we had some very interesting uh, interesting things here that you know. There's, a, there's probably a subcultural thing here with like 800 billion references that I just don't get. That I never will get because I was never part of uh, PureCast and probably couldn't ever be because I don't read Japanese. And what are the odds that this is not Japanese? This is totally Japanese. Don't even pretend it's not. Uh, so yeah, there's prob- I probably wouldn't get as much out of this as someone else who had more connection to it. But on its merits as a ROM hack, it's an okay, but flawed entry. As are many, but that's how it is. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. Yawning up a storm. And I'll see you later.